So I've always been interested in biology. I actually grew up on a farm, which I think you spend a lot of time outside and just kind of exploring the environment around you. I always knew that I wanted to be a scientist. I was always very interested in how the natural world worked, and that very quickly led to an interest in biology. Ever since I was a kid, I was always fascinated with everything, whether it just be a car or a, you know anything. I just always was fascinated with how things work. I was in an undergrad in college when my mom was diagnosed with thyroid cancer, and I wanted to find ways to help her. Six years old, I knew I wanted to be a scientist. From a very young age, I was just completely enthralled by the discovery process. You know, completely, completely sold. Like, That's what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. What motivates me is just my raw passion for the science. Your experiments should be what gets you out of bed in the morning. The research that I do under the Cancer Research Institute Irvington Fellowship focuses on dysfunction in the immune system. One of the most fundamental discoveries over the last 10 years or so was that the immune system responds to cancer. What we're trying to do on the basic side is understand the molecular mechanisms that underlie that improvement in the immune response so that we can make immunotherapy more effective for patients. I'm a postdoc in the lab of E. John Weary who was also a Cancer Research Institute Irvington Fellow. That relationship has been incredibly rewarding, and I feel like I've learned so much of just how to be a scientist, how to be a collaborator. It was a great fellowship for me, not only because of the prestige of the Cancer Research Institute, but also because it exposed me to a lot of the, at that time, early work in really seeing the foundations of cancer immunotherapy being realized in the clinic. CRI has a very long-term devotion to training young new scientists. And the postdoctoral fellowship period is that period where they often make their greatest discoveries and that launches their career. Having the postdoctoral fellowship really allows us to pursue what we're most excited about, being able to know for the next two to three years, I'm gonna be able to do this and just this. It's that feeling of seeing something for the first time. You know, I can bring it over to the clinical oncologist in my bay and say, look at this. This is going to impact the way you think about treating your patients. And we have to make sure we're supporting the best pipeline, the smartest people, but also giving them that sense of mission in really what the key problems are. So I, I think Cancer Research Institute really has become the gold standard. Their former and current fellows, trainees, and labs are the ones really driving the major innovations in the field. But it truly is the tip of the iceberg. I think there are still major discoveries to be made. I always say, so don't tell me what you've done. Tell me what is this huge, big question that's going to keep you excited, make you stay up at night, think about while you're running or anything else you're doing. What is it you want to ask? Endurance is critical for basic science as well as, as clinical science and really sticking with it and seeing it through. It's really our passion that gets us out of bed in the morning and gets us here. But you know, on the long days, on the hard days, when an experiment fails, when the result doesn't look quite right, it's really knowing that what I'm doing for Cancer Research Institute is having a broader impact. It's basic research that's gonna inform how to make immunotherapy a cure for everybody.